My name is Debbie Kendrick, and I am the co-sponsor of the National Honor Society, along with Mrs. Angela Berger. It is our privilege today to welcome you here to honor these fine young men and women into the National Honor Society. In Peters Township, we try to make it a true honor, and so our requirements are high. Um, just to be invited to apply, you have to have a 4.00 GPA, and there were 279 students in the sophomore and junior class that met that requirement. But in addition to that, this is not an academic group, it is the National Honor Society, so you had to fill out an application to show that you demonstrate excellence in all areas of your life. And out of all of those students, we are inducting today only 49 students. So it is truly an honor to be a member of the National Honor Society at Peters Township. Before I go on, I just need to make sure that I thank a lot of people that made this ceremony possible. I need to thank um, Jason Zappay, Robin Hodgenfick, Rob, Ryan Bonai, uh, Kelsey Sylvester, and all the custodians and secretaries that went over and above to make this day very special. Just recently, I was asked by one of my students what I love most about National Honor Society, and it was a very easy answer. It's the service. Our students provide so much community service to the school district and to the community, and I think it makes such a better place to both go to school and to live. They tutor the younger kids, they attend family nights, and every time they go anywhere, the feedback is consistent. These are amazing young people, and they are such good role models for the younger students. And they raise so much money for different community service projects. So I'm just very proud of the work that they do. But I also think that in return, our students get a lot out of the service that you do. I think that everybody would say that we would love to do community service because it's so important. But we're so busy. We don't have enough time. If only we had more time, we would do it. But if we ever wait for that time, there will be so many opportunities that pass us by. And when you do a service project, you feel in your heart that one more thing on my plate, and then you go do it, and after you do it, you feel so good. You actually get more out of giving service than you put into it. And that is a lesson that many of our students learn. And in fact, I was talking to our president, and I had not talked to her previously about what I was going to talk about, and I think she's going to give you the perspective from her point of view of what National Honor Society has done for her. So once again, I want to congratulate all of you. I cannot wait to work with you next year in the ways that we can make our school district and our community so much better by having you bright stars in our group. I would now like to introduce our president, Abby Newpaper. Hi everyone, my name is Abby Newpaver and I'm the president of National Honor Society. Before we get started with the ceremony, I would like to mention two faculty members that provide constant support to ensure that NHS runs smoothly. Mrs. Kendrick and Mrs. Berger. Thank you so much for providing support and encouragement and for giving up your free time during the day and after school to help make NHS a success. Next, I would like to thank the three other NHS officers that work behind the scenes and dedicate time in and out of school for NHS. They are Vice President Rachel Seisloff, Treasurer Alexa Goldsmith, and Secretary Allison Poon. Thank you ladies for showing us what it means to be an NHS member. I was asked today as the President of NHS to say a few words of what being a member of National Honor Society means to me. Being a member of National Honor Society is more than just wearing an extra tassel around your neck at graduation. It is more than just putting in time volunteering during the application process and more than just a box you can check when applying to the college of your dreams. This nationally ranked student organization emphasizes and values each student's ability to be a leader and to be successful academically and to sacrifice time to volunteer and to help those less fortunate. While most students focus on NHS as a means to set them apart while applying to college, they often lose focus of what it truly means to be an active member of such a prestigious organization. Although I was able to check that box on my countless college applications, 
As being a member, my experience of NHS goes much deeper. I had a pleasure of volunteering for Genesis of Pittsburgh, a local adoption agency in Washington, PA. What I took from my experience through my service work in Genesis is that with so much evil and bad in the world today, there are truly still good people in the world. Members of the community opened up their hearts by donating baby items, food, and even gift cards to complete strangers. This act of kindness was humbling. I was amazed what started out to be me helping others turned out to them actually helping me by showing me generosity, kindness, humanity, and above all, compassion. As you sit here today, ready to be inducted as the newest members of the National Honor Society, be very proud of yourselves for being chosen to be part of such a wonderful and prestigious organization. Be proud of all of your hard work, both in and outside of school, that has paid off. And never forget that you can touch the lives of someone when you least expect it. Congratulations to each and every one of you sitting here today. I cannot wait to see all of the wonderful accomplishments you guys make through, P through NHS at PTHS. Thank you. Now each of the officers is gonna talk about one of the pillars of NHS. I'm gonna start off with character. Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives each one individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character which guides one through life and once developed grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action, daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be, in reality, what we wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we must hope to prove by example that we value character. Thank you. Thank you, Abby. My name is Rachel Zeisloft, and I'm the Vice President of NHS. And my office is service. Service can be described in various ways. The routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or without recognition is a quality that we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. Thank you. Hi, I'm Alexa Goldsmith and I'm the treasurer of NHS. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended. For education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Hi, I'm Allison Poon and I'm gonna talk about leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, Will the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a substantive charge to each of our members.
We are now going to do a roll call of the new members. Nicholas Anderson. Claire Brula. Youngjo Chang. Cassandra Coleman. Alexis Conway. Roman Costanza. Jill Cunningham. Sophia Dudek. Lindsay Dyer. Nathan Freilich. Thomas Gallagher. Matthew Gray. Cassidy Griffith. Isabel Guna. Meredith Harrigan. Rebecca Harvey. Regan Herdman. Anna Hoffman. Madeline Holmes. Connor Hoy. Brendan Kern. Austin Corbel. Tyler Kokosinski. Brett Kroboth. Abigail Colbita. Elena Kulikowski. Ella Liebscher. Carl Luisi. Brady McRoberts. Amelia Metcalf. Cameron Mills. Ella Newpaver. Bryce O'Donnell. Grace O'Corn. McKenna Parker. Hallie Rist. Luke Scott. Grace Senaway. Amelia Severns. Aviat Sharma. Courtney Schilling. Sydney Shock. William Summers. Isabella Spurgell. Elena Tilka. Grace Urban. (laughs) 
Gemma Walker. <laughs> Joseph Wateska. Serena Zhu. Now I would like to invite Dr. Pavlik to come speak. Why, thank you. Um, first of all, one more time, congratulations to the entire uh, 2022 inductee class for National Honor Society. I'm sure you join me in recognizing the incredible accomplishments of these fine young men and women, and we are very proud of them, and we look forward to working with them over the next year or two um, and seeing what they can do, and I'm sure that they will impress us beyond our expectations, so congratulations one more time. At this time, I'm going to ask the inductees to please stand as we recite the pledge. Do you want me to have them light the candles first? Yes. Okay. If you would turn your candles on. We tried something new this year, non-flaming candles. <laughs> so far, it looks good. All right, folks, are we ready? Okay. Please repeat after me. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been elected, striving in every way, by word and deed, to make its ideals the ideals of my school and of my life. Congratulations, National Honor Society members. That concludes our ceremony. We're going to move these chairs out of the way so that you can get photographs of them. We will be um, hosting a small um, reception, actually just up on the concourse here. There is cake and, and um, drinks over in this corner. So after you take pictures, please join us for a celebration. Thank you so much for coming today.